The rising rate of inflation in the country has hit the food banks so badly that they have declared this summer the worst that has been experienced by the food charity organizations in 40 years. Last month, Canada's consumer price inflation rose to a staggering 8.1%, which is the highest our country has experienced since January 1983, which was 39 years ago. The institution with the facts and figures, Statistics Canada, said that the reason for such a rise in consumer price inflation was the higher gas prices, which had risen to 6.2% in the month of June and 55% this year. This was contained in a report on its website, where it also said that the price of food and shelter is also on the rise, though at a slower rate compared to gas prices. It was said that food prices increased by 0.1% while shelter costs increased by 0.4%. Statistics Canada also said that on an annual basis, Canadian consumers pay 54.6% more for gasoline in the month of June following 48.0% increase in May, and this has contributed the most to headline consumer inflation. It was also said that gas prices rose 6.2% month over month in June. This was following a 12.0% increase. In the month of May, gas prices were said to have largely followed crude oil prices, which peaked in the first week of June with higher demand for oil from around the world amid the easing of COVID-19 public health restrictions in China, which is the largest importer of crude oil in the world. Compared to last year, statistics revealed that basic accommodation costs rose by 50%, and the prices for air tickets saw an increase of 6.4%. Food items that have been heavily impacted by the current inflation are onions, which rose by 25% in prices, carrots, which rose by 23% in prices, and beans, which shot up by 20% in prices. Meaty commodities also suffered the impact of the inflation as the price of chicken breast spiked by 20% and that of ground beef rose by 10%. The record high inflation seems to be doing no good for the Bank of Canada, either as it is putting pressure on the Apex Bank to continue increasing interest rates as a consequence of the inflation. Earlier this month, the Bank of Canada announced that it was raising interest rates to 2.5%, which was a 100 basis point increase, and the highest ever set by the Bank of Canada at once since 1998. That's 24 years ago. In a news release, the Bank of Canada said that with the economy clearly in excess demand, inflation high and broadening, and more businesses and consumers expecting high inflation to persist for longer, the Governing Council had decided to toe the path to higher interest rates by raising the policy rate by 100 basis points. Tiff Macklem, who was the governor of the Bank of Canada, warned Canadians of the stiff economic crisis continuing into the winter and causing a further rise in prices of consumer products. He admitted that Canada is currently experiencing a material reduction in growth. He said that the bank was forecasting growth this year at 3.5%, moving down to 1 and 3 quarters percent next year. He explained that the forecast showed a material reduction in growth and it would bring some pain to Canadians. The habit caused by inflation has led the CEO of Food Bank Canada, Kirsten Beardsley to raise alarm about the worsening impacts that are being felt by food banks in Canada, admitting that this was the worst in 40 years. Beardsley said that the food banks have more Canadians coming through the doors because they aren't able to put food on the table for their families, and there are fewer people in the community who are in a position to give. Of course, this is because the inflation in the country is felt by everyone, and even those who may not need food banks have their budgets stretched by the economic crisis. She added that the number of first-time customers to food banks increased significantly in recent months. In June, Food Banks Canada said that about 7 million Canadians had been reported to have gone hungry at least once between March 2020 and March 2022. It was also said that the rising cost of living in the country was making the situation worse than it currently was. The research which was released last month found almost a quarter of people were eating less than they think they should because they simply could not afford what they really wanted. Beardsley lamented that the food insecurity in Canada was related to poverty and low incomes, and as a result, Canadians needed to see moves to implement affordable housing and long-term policies on income support. She was optimistic that that would change the game in terms of how many people rely on the services of food banks. And amid all these, Trudeau is planning to cut down on fertilizer use under the aegis of combating greenhouse gas emissions. And even when agricultural experts have advised him against it, with some warning that the effects of his actions would be dangerous to the current food situation, he persists in doing that. What do you think about the comments made by the CEO of Food Bank Canada concerning the worsening food crisis in our country? What do you think the governor of the Bank of Canada should be doing to ease the economic stress on Canadians? Please leave your comments on the questions in the comments section down below. Also, please like this video and our subsequent videos. Subscribe if you haven't or if you are new to the channel. Turn on post notifications too so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thanks for watching.